What's happening everybody? We're out here in beautiful Northeast Tennessee in Bluff City. And today we're going to be going down into Worley's Cave. Now this cave is 550 million years old. So it's gonna be a pretty cool time. We've been in here a few times before, so it's definitely not our first rodeo down there. We're gonna go check out, we call it the squeezer or the devil's rectum. It's gonna be a long, a long crawl through a, a, a very narrow tunnel. And then our goal is to reach what we call the showy cavern where there's a little bit of water and really nice formations. So yeah, let's go check it out. All right, here's the entrance to the cave. This was uh, the entrance at one time. Uh, and we've actually hiked in from the other way and it's collapsed on the inside. Uh, so then you have to go down in here and hike this underground creek all the way in. So that's the that's the direction we're heading. Um, you get, huh? No, I know. I wish, I wish they'd reopen it because it'd make it a lot easier to access all the cool stuff back there without having to get wet. Because you wouldn't have to get wet if you went that way. But I mean, that's kind of part of the experience is doing that. Uh, is getting in and getting wet, you know. But maybe with the since uh, the guy who owned this passed away somewhat recently, um, they've obviously been putting some more money into it. There's a new driveway in and all this new stuff, so they. Uh, Maybe in the few coming time they'll uh, they'll add they'll reopen that maybe perhaps so gotta be real careful walking down this. Into the deep we go. All right, this is pretty much where you kind of gotta accept the fact you're about to get wet. So. Crawl, Dad. That's good. That's good eating right there. Brought a super bright light today, 6,500 lumens. So we're gonna see how this does for us. Try not to blind my my cohorts with it. Cohorts? Cohorts? Co cohorts. So if I remember correctly, we kind of take this for maybe about a three quarters of a mile maybe or so, I think. And then we jut up to the right and then that's where we'll go to what we uh, so passionately call the devil's rectum or if you're around less uh, appropriate company, the squeezer. So yeah, we're, that's our, our first uh, check mark beyond the underground creek. Okay, so we've arrived at what we call the devil's rectum or uh, the squeezer. Uh, pretty sure that's what this is anyway. You got a nice long crawl back through this small cavity. So that's what we're about to do. You guys excited about this? Woo! You excited to get in the devil's rectum, Ethan? Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Sorry. TJ wouldn't have liked this. He'd be like, I'm not gonna fit, I'm too fat. <laughs> Once we get through it, I guess. I just remember it being tighter than this. Like I feel like we had to crawl more. Like I couldn't get on my yeah. my knees, dude. They get washed out or something. Flash flood or something. Yeah, possibly. I mean, this is the right cavern. Uh, which is probably for the best because it honestly it was pretty tough before. <sighs> yeah, definitely a little, a little bit of a squeeze. I swear it's not as tight of a squeeze as it was though, but this is definitely uh, the end chamber. It almost feels shorter now too. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm in the, the little little cavern that we kind of hang out in, the little chamber that we chill in before we go into the big chamber. Oh yeah, that little bit of chain link somewhere. I think they were trying to keep people from coming down this way at some point, maybe. Oh, sorry. I remember it being a longer climb too, man. I don't know. I think I'm tripping. Ethan, hang back just a little bit so I can stick it, stick the camera down in there once Beagle gets out so you're not right on his tail. Okay. And I need to get out of your way. Don't feel my ass. I'm gonna try to throw this pack up so you can pull it out. Okay. Some crepes, what you got in here? All that fucking water. I'm about to just leave one in here. <laughs> no. Leave no trace, even. I'm leaving it for the next guy. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Alright, rate your experience on a scale of 1 to 10 so far. <laughs> how, how was that? How was the squeezer? <laughs> At 11? <laughs> squeezer was an 11. Okay, you heard it here first. Come up, told you. I forgot gloves. I, I thought about bringing some, but. Yeah. All right. So we got out of there, out of the squeezer. Now we're in the second big chamber. I'm gonna turn the big light on. Still pretty misty in here. And then that's the way if they did in fact open that other entrance, that's the way you would come in and out. It had caved in at one point. I pointed it out at the beginning. But our goal is to head that way. Ethan, where'd you go? Oh. Okay. So here's kind of like a, you can see a premature formation, like the very beginning of something. So as this water penetrates down through the earth, yeah, the minerals kind of get forced down and then it penetrates through and then these dew drops come and they solidify almost like an icicle would. And you can see the drop kind of starting to come off. And this is a, a calcite that comes from those minerals that comes down from the water table that goes through the earth and then penetrates the cave. Sorry. Really not trying to add to the difficulty of this. <laughs> but you know, we gotta give the viewers what they want, bro. They wanna see it. That's why my whole 200 subscribers come to my channel, bro. They, they wanna see the goods. Yeah. Nicely done. Here's one of the more prominent stalactites. Yeah, stalactites. It comes from the ceiling. Yeah, this is one of the more prominent stalactite uh caverns in this cave this guy's got to be about 12 foot in diameter probably like 20 foot tall got some nice fins going on over here we got a real complicated witchy finger looking thing going on and then a whole bunch of little guys on the ceiling you can actually see the water and hear the water dripping usually there's a lot more water here we uh I've had an unusually dry summer. I think that's really making, I didn't realize it affect the cave so much because um, a lot of stuff seeming unfamiliar to me because there's usually water that we walk through. So 
I'm interested to see how the rest of this works out. All right, we made it to the, the showy cavern, is what we call it, but because um, it's got this really cool hanging one here. Let's try and get a better angle on it. Yeah, that thing's really cool. It's like suspended off the ground, maybe like two or three feet now at this point. And then, yeah, it just comes down and up. But hey, usually it's much deeper water in here. Like you're usually up to your shins or something. So we definitely have a lot less water than usual. A lot of really cool formations in here though. I'm not sure if this is what they call the manganese waterfalls. Oh, we'll see if that thing's waterproof, I guess. I have a feeling it might not be. <laughs> That's why you always bring a spare, boys and girls. Let's set this one down for a minute. Yeah, I'm not sure if this one's what they call the manganese waterfalls or not. I think there is a section back here they call that. But um, we usually self-guide ourselves in these, so we've never really been with anybody that knows any more than we do about it. So, so it's such a, a small, not so well-known place that it's easy to find information about it. Yo, just, just stand over by that thing and see how tall you are next to it. A little closer, go to the other side. There we go. Nice. It's about two and a half beagles. Pretty insane. I mean, you just have to think about how long this water has been coming down through this limestone cave, carving this out, depositing minerals, solidifying almost to the ground. I mean, we're so close. I wonder how many more years it would take to do that. Maybe a few thousand? Who knows, dude? I don't know how old this is. I know this whole cave is about 550 million years old, but this is pretty magnificent to see in person. I feel like the I have too direct of light on it, it kind of like has some waves going on. Let's see if that shows later. Follow them that way. So this is probably like my fifth time in this cave or so. I think we were just kind of trying to figure out if it was fourth or fifth. And uh, I think we need to go that way, actually. Came down and we came up, came down that. Um, and this is the first time I've ever ran into multiple parties here. So I don't know if this place is more popular now or what, but uh, obviously it's a little, 
little louder in here than usual. So, I mean, it's a Wednesday, the middle of the day, so it is the summertime though, so maybe these are kids' camps and stuff, but. The new entrance is open now? Huh? Or the old, the dry entrance is open now? Yeah, it's open. Uh -oh. That's where they came in. Oh, interesting. And you can walk around all this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, imagine you were like snoring and the kids you came up on you just hear this like <laughs> There's a bear in here. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty cool. There's like a there's so much clay deposited down in some of these sections that they people have been climbing in here so long it's just like grooved out. There's these deep grooves and there's a lot of places you can do that are like, are like we call them foot slides because you just like sit your feet in here and then, and then sit down and slide down through them. But we didn't get to that section today. We didn't go quite as deep as we normally do today. So I guess there might be one around the corner, but just want to just highlight this real quick because it's pretty cool to see. I mean, how deep this and worn out these little channels are. <laughs> yeah so we decided to kind of take a different way out this the original entrance that i mentioned when we first came into the cave that i said was closed off i guess is reopened uh ethan talked to a group that just came in and it kind of makes sense because the group that went in before us seemed to make a lot of headway for not having to go through the devil's rectum so um yeah, I guess you can come back out this way. Oh, that was the formation I was talking about. Yeah, it's got like a more silvery sheen over here. Gray. Yeah, it's crazy though, because it's... We can feel the humidity and the heat way more in this than, than the way we came in. You can just... You can tell that it's open and flowing now because it's way warmer, way more humid. Like you can even see probably the... All right, well, we found a gate. Oh, that's my head. That's why we wear a helmet, boys and girls. Um, so we found this gate, which I don't, I do remember it, but it was definitely closed. Cause we've been back to here and I was like, oh, you can't come in this way or can't get out this way. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. There's, I see light now. That's a lot quicker than going the way we went and a lot drier, but where's the fun in that, you know? I think it'd be cool to come in this way and then leave the other way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Oh, there she is. We see the light. <laughs> All right, well, that was Whirly's Cave. All right, so what do we think, boys? We enjoy it? Good time? Great times. Yeah. Always fun in Whirly's, huh? Well, we're back out. I guess that's good to know that this is now an open entrance. So if you don't really... You don't really want to get wet. It's possible to come in through this way. You might still get a little wet, but you won't have as soggy as feet as we do. It's like this little inflatable raft. Do you remember that time I had kayaks down here? Class three yeah, I definitely want to kayak in that. That'd be cool. 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 It's really dry right now, though, I think. Yeah, I don't think you could. Because, yeah. I mean, remember, that's usually, like, way flowing. Yeah. yeah, you have to get here, like, a better flow. Yeah, it's been dry. Another lap? Yeah, you want to go again? Let's go again, boys. <laughs> Nah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was Whirly's. At least uh, my favorite sections of it, more or less. 
It is good to know now that you can come in this upper dry mouth is what they call it to get into the cave. So if you don't want to have to tromp through the water like we've been doing for years, you don't have to get your feet and your, and your pants is wet. So yeah, we appreciate you guys coming along this time and we'll catch you the next time.